you talk a little bit about I Don't Know More? Yeah, so uh, I Don't Know More, of course, was, do you guys remember that? Do you remember? You know, for the most part, we were, uh, we were engaging the country in a dialogue, very meaningful dialogue in 2011, late 2011, early 2012. And I Don't Know More was exciting for me because it was really one of my first forays uh, into activism. I'd grown up as an activist. I'd had, uh, been all, you know, been in um, the occupation at uh, uh, the legislative grounds in 1990, sort of seen it and, and witnessed different moments throughout history uh, during the Royal Commission on Aboriginal Peoples and so on and uh, during the occup you know, occupation throughout Ontario. I'd sort of witnessed all that, but I never really organized anything until uh, I don't know more, and then I, 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 di I did many things in Winnipeg with a group of people who I otherwise did wouldn't have known, um, amazing people. And so uh, I don't know more was an inspiring time for all of us because it was a reminder that while Indigenous people really have no reason to believe that Canada's um, going to change, going to do something meaningful, <laughs> going to change the Indian Act, for, for example, or, or try to give up the 99.9% .9 of the land that they claim to control and to, uh, along with the resources. Um, even though we keep beating them at the, at the Supreme Court and fighting and fighting and fighting, it, there's not a whole lot of optimism there. But I don't know more was the reminder that Indigenous people, if we stay close to our values, if we stay fundamentally who we are, um, we can change a country 15 minutes at a time. And we, you saw that in the malls. 15 minutes at a time, we changed Canada. We changed it from a place of commerce and exploitation and profit, a mall, and we danced a community into the future. And yeah, some people had to be kicking and screaming. <laughs> you know, some people did refuse to dance. When we were doing the ones at, uh, in Winnipeg, Santa didn't want to dance with us. Well, Santa's not ready for what a real country looks like. Because uh, for us, a, a real country is when people who even disagree with each other, who disagree with each other, say, let's dance together, let's figure each other out. Let's stop building pipelines until we figure out a way that we can ensure that there is environmental protections. Oh, it turns out there's no environmental abilities for pipelines. Well, maybe we think about another life without pipelines. How do we protect water? That's what I don't know more was really all about. How do we protect water and how do we in engage Indigenous people in a meaningful dialogue on, on what it means to be partners in a country? Well, we certainly don't just keep hammering through laws that exploit and ignore and assimilate, but we actually engage each other in a dialogue where it says, I'm your partner, I'm your family member, I'm somebody who's going, not going away anytime soon, so how are we going to share the land? That's for me what Idle No More was about. And malls were the best place to demonstrate that. And for 15 minutes at a time, we had 4,000 people in Saskatoon, we had uh, 3,500 people at Polo Park, all right around Christmas of 2011. And it was Indigenous people, and women, young women particularly, who were leading that movement. And they were doing that not because they are uh, a bunch of hippies, it's because they were truly engaged with what it meant to be Anishinaabe or Nehewak or Cree. They were truly what it meant to be an Indigenous person, whatever nation they came from. <coughs> and that was the most beautiful thing of all about I Don't Know More.